their names. Hello, welcome to round 404 mm -hmm. of Standard. You already know what Doug Wayman's plan, who he is. We saw him last round. Uh, mm -hmm. Win against the the real Green White deck. That was exciting. Um, uh -huh. Now we have Aaron so, Creech. He's playing Salt Eye Snake. Yep. Um, so two things are lying on the screen right now. They're not in turns, and they and are not Doug done with our match. But may not have actually won this yet. <laughs> Maybe he did. You never know. But yeah, sure. That's our stream artist prediction, though. He thinks Doug's gonna sweep this one to a. We'll see. Champion of Wits. We're gonna draw some cards. I really hope he. I don't know what he's playing. Actually, to be honest with you, I think it's Salt Eye Snake because that's what I would guess. I mean, it's it's probably yeah, or it might just be Salt Eye Control. I want to see some Braskas. He's got Charter Course in hand. That's a Thrashing Brontodon, a Kite Sail Freebooter. Kite Sail Freebooter. All right, I like it. Maybe like a. He he discarded a Carnage Tyrant. Just Salt Eye good stuff. I like it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but I love it. Control ish. All right, that's what we got. Control ish. All right, we're we're gonna see what he's got. Land. That's the uh, pump what? spell, right? Yeah, it's horrible. Um, triple land from that. <laughs> we went from no lands to to victory with all lands. Well, he, he'll turn it around. Yeah, he'll probably still win this one. Yeah, no, he'll turn okay. it around. Doug's uh, pretty good at drawing. Yeah, he's just going to prove to us that he's like, guys, I don't need lands. If I get too many, that's still whatever, man. I'm going to win this one. Yeah, we'll just uh, scavenger ground people out. <laughs> I really hope Aaron's like, whole plan for that... Uh... Carnage Tyrant is just to uh, reanimate it. Yeah, reanimate it. Yeah. And the scavenger around, Doug's just said, yep. like, yeah, I yeah. knew. Doug I knew what like, you were he, doing. Yeah, I, I knew what was happening here. He's going to, like, shock the champion, scavenger grounds it out. He was like, no reanimation for you. All right. Well, if we're being serious, which well, we, we weren't necessarily not being serious, Doug could still win this, but. Doug drawing the light. Yeah, oh. he, he got the lightning strike to strike mm -hmm. the. Freebooter to get a strike to strike the wits. Perfect. Yeah, I think I would have just sent Hazard out, to be honest. Um, so that way, next turn, you could play a land, uh, discard a land to Hazard and Lightning Strike. Yeah, that does sound actually much better. Especially since Aaron already knew Hazard was coming. Like, that way, you're not giving him any new information. Mm -hmm. Which isn't huge, but it's still, like, notable. Then also, you have this uh, Lightning Strike for this Gaunti here. Yeah, and, like, the one point of damage wasn't actually going to matter. This Conti isn't even that impressive. We have Soul Scar Mage, or Shaker Kenra, and the land. Carries of to yep. choose from. I think out of these, I take Carries of. I would agree. These, I mean, the Kenra could be pretty important too. Yeah, Kenra, but like the you wouldn't be able to eternalize it because it would go to Doug's graveyard, which sucks. If we went to your graveyard, I would take Kenra, hands down. But. All right. Now what we get? Ooh, land. All right, so we're definitely throwing Hazard out now. We're not attacking. Yep. Not just yet. Yeah, so this is much awkward, or more much awkward. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> this much is awkward. much awkward compared to what it could have been if he did Invigorated Rampy. I'm sorry, I'm not following. Uh, no, Yoruga, we were talking about the what ifs of uh, if he would have uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just played the hazard at last turn instead of playing with the strike. Because then here, this turn would be much better, and then he wouldn't, like, the last turn's outcome wouldn't have actually changed. He would have just taken one more point of damage, which mm -hmm. really doesn't matter. Yeah, whereas uh, Invigorated Rampage uh, is kind of an awkward card in uh, his hand right now. Double Charter Course here. Can Aaron find land? Because his hand is stacked, otherwise that's an Archfiend yeah. of Ifnir, Carnage Tyrant, Liliana, Liliana. Death's Majesty. Um, another, uh, right? Another Charter Course? Alright, so we play a land. We discard one of the lands to oh, Hazaret. Do we also draw a land? Is that what that is? Not no, he drew a Glorybringer. That's so it, pretty good. Yeah, but he doesn't get to attack with Hazaret here. Yeah... Yeah, I do like pitching land and shocking, right? Pitching we, a land and using the Invigorated Rampage on Hazaret to hit him for nine. Yeah. Does he still have the Lightning Strike in hand, too? No. Uh, no, the Lightning Strike he used a long time ago. Okay. Well, I thought he used it on the... He used it on Kitesail Freebooter. Which got him one back. No, no, no. He only had one Lightning Strike. Okay. He got him Invigorated Rampage. Oh, that, that's where he took off it. Okay, sorry. 
Yeah, that's what. Yeah, uh, that, you right, that's why I wasn't tall. I thought I thought it was just um, he took a lightning strike, and he got another one. Okay. All right, Aaron's here. He's a little predicament. No fear, though. Just gonna go ahead and get in there. He's probably gonna play Thrashing Bronted on this turn. Nope, we're just we're drawing more cards. I think that's his fourth chart, of course. It's either the third or fourth, yeah. <laughs> Doug could mill him out. I want to see that. And we're gonna play Carry Zev. All right. That wasn't a horrible turn. I will be legitimately surprised if Doug mills him out. Oh, so would I, but I want to so see. So land. It. Let's not do that. Let's just throw it at him. We have a hazard ability that we can use. No, we have, I we mean, use, yeah, we could throw it and then play the the dude and then attack and do things. Yeah, but now he can uh, play the dude and play the thing. No, I, I would have just not played the land, honestly. Just kept the land in hand to throw it later. Yeah, yeah, that's what he should have done. He's, he still had enough mana to do the. All right, so we're gonna attack, shove in. We're probably going to exert. We're going to have alternating exerting creatures, so that's going to be great. Lovely. And then before damage, we're going to add four damage to it, I believe. Yeah. Two zero to both. Yep. So that's going to be seven, 12 damage. Nah, jeez. So he's just yeah, dead so to this glory bringer now? That and or if we kept that land in hand, we had lethal. These beasts go through a throw. I mean. On his next turn. Yeah. What's, what's fun was Aaron, he was way far ahead. Uh, the turn, <laughs> and then he missed land drops. He missed yeah. one land drop, and the game's really just over. Too, yeah. And Doug proving to us it doesn't matter how many lands you draw on mono red. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. I was talking to Doug, and he said for uh, when Dominaria comes out right now, he wants to play Knights. Knights? Okay. Uh, because literally every vampire that was printed is also a knight is also a knight yeah oh interesting so he's actually just gonna be playing vampires but he's gonna call it knights because there's the two because there's a couple knight cards that were spoiled in dominaria but okay i mean there's the uh, mythic one that adds a knight on yeah, yeah, your yeah. first two turns of the saga so the first two times you get to there's use it, it adds a knight and then it cards. Uh, overruns knights but yeah it's pretty much just vampires with knights it's interesting Mm. Doesn't sound bad. Just white, white, uh, white black, which gives you the good black removal spells that we have access to in standard. There's a journey to eternity in Aaron's deck. All right, I like it. Journey to eternity is such a good card, though. Mm -hmm. So he was playing Reanimator. Genius. Yeah, perfect. Scavenger Grounds main deck. Shut him down. I like it, Doug. Yeah. No D wonder he pitched that card in his tyrant. Doug, Doug is much smarter than us. I think he just took out Tatsumak even. <laughs> It was three charter cores, not four, but I mean, that's still a lot of cards. It was three charter cores? Yeah. I thought on his first turn, like his first or second turn, he cast a charter cores. And then one turn, he cast two charter cores. And then there was another turn later where he cast the fourth charter cores and then carries out. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. It's the, that's the benefit of it replay, right? Four. It was a lot. <laughs> All right, so uh, I actually don't know really what uh, Aaron's playing, um, or like what what he could have. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks for the follow, D Hayes. D Hayes nine. Yeah, you're right. I missed the number. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure what Aaron's got in his sideboard. I hope it's some uh, probably some spicy really cards spicy that throws. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> spicy cards, to, you know, uh, throw us out there. Doug's gonna prove to us that we don't know how to play mono red. And keep some crazy hand again, I hope. Oh, uh, probably, yeah. Doug is not a fan of Mulligan, for sure. Yeah, uh, so... Um, so like so that's, let's, try, let's, let's try to predict Doug's hand. Uh, it's going to be, like, four lands, Glory Bringer, Glory Bringer, Hazaret. Snap Keep. I think like, he keeps it, it yeah. Good, that, that cannot be any better. On the draw, too, I'm going to top deck my um, Boomat Courier and just go straight to Fate. Like, yeah, it's perfect. All right, I was clearly wrong. <laughs> No lands. Uh, there's a sun screech. Is there two sun screech and a scavenger grounds? Scavenger grounds. We keep. We keep. We have a land. This is perfect. He's keeping. Ah oh, no. Ah, okay. oh, Doug. All right. It he, was all there. All right. He found. He found the hand that he can mulligan. Unfortunate. I yeah. that one was probably. He, he had the mountain on top, and it would have been perfect. Yeah. Aaron uh, had uh, also taken a mulligan, which is 
a little less good for Aaron, but hopefully he's got some like contraband kingpins or something to slow down Ooh, Doug. Ooh, some kingpins. All right, what other life game cards do we have in there? Uh, I really hope for the uh, three mana archer. Uh, <laughs> the one for that fights. Yeah, the one for that fights. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what about some? Uh, oh, I um, the other card that gains you a lot of life. Uh, gifted Aetherborn. Uh, that one, that one, yeah, that one would be good. Uh, I Death think he's Gorge, got a Golden scavenger. Demise in his hand, golden so that's going to be helpful. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, what do we got over here? Sunscorch, Mountain, Mountain. Okay, I, I was this close. This hand's actually good. No, it's not. Sure it is. Look, he's got four lands and two Chandras. I was close to what he kept for an opening hand. Oh, I thought that was a... I thought, I thought Five the, lands, two the one Chandras. The land was uh, above my career. That's still one, yeah. it's still good. It's still good. Doug's gonna win this one. I mean, Do Doug obviously knows. If it was a Bomat Courier and not another colorless land, this hand would actually be, just be really good for mm -hmm. a six too. Yeah, Aaron over there keeping a fatal push open for turns one and two. Yeah, that's why we didn't play the Doug's Bomat, next level. You know? Okay. Yeah, Doug just juked it. He's like, no, I'm not playing this fatal push. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Chandra win. Come on. Aaron's like, I'll wait. We'll see. Yeah. All right, there you go. Perfect. He's taking it. Taking it. I mean, it's one damage. What does he care? Right, exactly. Straight to 18? That's fine. I think he's trying to get him with his golden demise. Probably, yeah. Yeah. And then look at that. Hazred. I, I was very close to uh, yeah. To what uh, Doug ended up keeping. Uh, Yeah, I would have just pushed it. No reason not to. It's like, eh. I mean, you're, you're going to want to kill it anyways, right? Yeah, I mean, you're not doing anything else. So we're... Push for so... A while and, I mean... We're going to plus and we're going to exile our top card and it's not going to be a land. It's a shock. It does the exact same yeah, thing. <laughs> like either way. All it's right. also one of the few times where I'm like tapped out and I exile the top card and it like actually Contempt. just don't care about what it is. Yeah, it's like, all right. Contempt's for the most nice part, here. it's either like, okay, well, I'm glad I got rid of this or okay, wow, that sucks. I just got rid of that. All right. Well, it's like, okay, well, it. this plus did what I wanted to regardless. It's just like, yep, either way, it's fine. Uh, get in there for two. All right, I like it. Good old prowess. Uh, he should be at... Oh, no, he just gained two off the... Yep, yep. All right, never mind. Pretty good. Champion. We're going to draw some cards. He didn't... We he, you know, he wasted the Veracity's Contempt because he didn't know about the second Chandra or the Hazoret. It just feels bad, you know? You're right. Can't you're have right. it all. All right, he probably just ran two more Veracity's Contempts. If you're Doug, you can have it all. Doug, Doug, all... There's... All right, see? He's discarding the Carnage Tyrant yet again for this reanimate later. Mm -hmm. Because Doug didn't see it game one, so he's not going to suspect it. But. Yeah, he doesn't know there's a Liliana or a Journey into it. In but his deck. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna assume that Doug's gonna top deck the scavenging ground and just activate it immediately. He's like, nope, not fun for that. Not missing the land drops, perfect. Or we get on crop crasher, which is even better. So Chandra plus on crop crasher. Yes, please. Send in for five and exert. Yeah, I would exert. For sure. This is great. This is good times. This is perfect. Come on, Doug. See it. See the line. I believe in you, Doug. Chandra. Doug can do it. Chandra. All right, we're All at right, four. Plus, 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 plus. Which which plus we doing? The first one. No, the second one. Yeah, we're we're gonna want to do the second one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna plus. We're gonna on a crop crash. We All did right. it. We figured out a line from the mono red deck. Excellent. You even remember the prowess right, figure. Send. Perfect. We're gonna exert. All right, Aaron's gonna either take it and golden demise next turn, or just go ahead and push. All right, he's taking it and golden demise the next turn. Saving the push. Um, either Doug, way, I don't really care. I say I don't know. Doug's uh Doug's getting fine. pretty lucky playing against these opponents that are uh, very unwilling <laughs> to uh, kill yeah. his creatures. That is actually true. Yeah. <laughs> like he should not have won last round. Like, mm. his opponent just uh. Refuse to block it or shake her like, Kenra. Nope, I'm not blocking. We're going to Golden Demise. We're going to kill everything. Including the Champion of Witch, which is perfect since he's going to reanimate it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Good timing, good timing. We're going to play two mana. We're going to Kite Sail Freeboot. We're going to take your... Oh. Nothing. Great. <laughs> he does have the Scavenger Grounds. Oh my, it's perfect. Yeah, Doug's got everything. Doug is doing it. He's going to plus make two red mana. That way he can scavenge your grounds, activate it, and oh, play his look, Hazoret. Look, that is he, the worst possible path, draw. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. No, he tapped wrong. We need that scavenger grounds. No, no, no. You have Chandra. You have Chandra. Come on, Doug. 
Play a new plus Chandra, yeah. play a new Hazard. <laughs> oh, okay. I well, mean, let's strike down this three beater. I mean, yeah, might as well go ahead and three him instead of two, right? I would kill the free booter though. Eh, whatever. It gets rid of a blocker. That way, can't block right. has has a rip. Shove in. Puts him to six. Ooh. All right, he's gonna have double wrestling attempt all in one turn. Let's see it. And he's still gonna have mana up for the next wrestling attempt. I mean, really, all he needs is gear Hulk. Oh, he's or, dead. He just, can just concedes it. <laughs> Doug's like, hey, check this push, out. Push, <laughs> push. Yeah, look at me. I just had it all. Uh, yeah, unfortunate for Aaron. He didn't see any re reanimate spells. Um, he did get lucky, though. Doug could have activated that scavenger grounds. Mm -hmm. but... Yeah, uh, yeah, I think uh, Aaron accidentally discarded some cheap spells to uh, put play with his... Yeah, um, he did. He did. Uh, champion of Wits. Well, we were right. The, the protection, right? Doug went 2-0. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we saw the future. Well, um, so besides that, uh, this was a pretty fast round. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess that's what happens when Mono Red uh, hits the Wins board that fast. Yeah, we've had some pretty fast ones today, actually. But so, uh, just talking about the reanimator, re kind of jokingly, but yeah, give me some reanimate spells in Dominaria. Come on, let's see. Uh, it. I mean, we got the Salt Eye guy that you just get to play things back out of your graveyard. Yeah, yeah. So six mana. So we play Chart of Course, Champion of Wits, we discard all of our good creatures, and we just reanimate things. Yeah, there's no way that that goes bad, right? Definitely not. Your opponent never has Scavenger Grounds. I, I highly doubt it. Unless they're Doug Wayman. Doug Wayman is the luckiest Yeah, I mean, if life. I'm playing against Doug, I just concede, go get dinner. Like, I'm like, why would I bother playing that match out, right? I mean, he has guaranteed Scavenger Grounds. Yeah. There's just no way. But, like, besides that, I feel like this deck would be fun. Fun, at least. Mm -hmm. And we discard things that have, like, Embalm or Internalize, too, just because. Why not? Um. Oh wait, I mean, told there's a card in Santa that lets you sack two creatures to get one get back one from graveyard. That seems not horrible. If that's true, that's pretty great. Uh, there's Let the me new, sack uh, two servos and then get back a Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, there's the Dairy Gaz, the old uh, dragon from Dominaria. He's got. He's apparently survived uh, whatever mending or explosion happened, and he's now some kind of like elder dragon or something that doesn't die ever. Nice. That's the best kind of dragon. Yeah, so he's pretty good. I mean, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like he, uh, when he dies, he uh, just like uh, down ticks for a. Uh, it's just like a three turn timer till he's back. It's like oh the, yeah, he, he likes uh, suspense. Yeah, it's the uh, I can't remember what it is. Uh, Apocrysite. Yeah, what I think it's called. Uh, also, yeah. So we, so we just play Jund. No, actually, we don't just play Jund. We also play Blue, so we can get the Scarab God for more reanimation tricks. Yeah, we just play uh, Salt color. Eye. We just play Salt Eye. Or Salt Eye. We don't need any red mana. We actually don't need red. We, we just yeah. play him. Yeah, yeah you just, you just uh, reanimate him. You put him out. We also have Unclaimed Territory. That, that That's how we get it. We, we just named Dragon, because yeah, we're definitely going to have other dragons. You Unclaimed, <laughs> name Dragon. Uh, we have Aether Hub, right? All right, Whisper, Blood... Sacrifice to yeah, yeah, yeah. Return target creature from the graveyard to the battle. Yeah, all right, I like this. Yeah, yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we do this. We get a creature that ETBs with a fabricate to make two services keep doing it. Well, it's tap sacrifice. So? Uh, <laughs> well, it's not infinite, but I'm just saying, like, every turn just get someone back if we could. I mean, it would have to be, like, the angel or the cultivator that we saw yeah. like, every time. <laughs> No, they're gonna print something in Dominaria. See, Wizards is definitely watching right now, and there's here in my my you know like please, give me please, give me yeah. give me a ten ten that ETBs makes two O ones. Let's say at the beginning of my upkeep, if this is on the field, I die. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. at the beginning of my draw step. That way, I can do that ability in the upkeep and don't put that trigger on the stack. Mm, this is what sounds I want. dangerous. Or end step. I'll, I'll take end step. All right, give me end step. Yeah, give, um, give me my full turn to, you know, not die. Yeah, to, to try and not die, but I definitely do want to do this. So I stack the two things, and then boom, perfect. Reanimator's a thing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Trust me. Wizards will definitely print this card, guys. We, we have I mean, the set left. It's they got to push, like, Journey to Eternity, right? Like, that yeah, card's The card's great. so good. Let's do it. I like it. Reanimator and Standard? Yes, please. It's mm. going to be slower, but... Or we just print Reanimate. I'm down for that, too. Um... Sure, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just put uh, Reanimate back in standard. Can we also get Mental Messed Up while we're at it? Yeah, yeah. Might as well, you know. Um, you know, Shoes, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, that's Robert. That's Robert. Oh, Robert? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but no idea. 
But uh, hey, Ran Rider would be good, Robert. What's Matt doing? Deny it. He's uh, scared of the light, so yeah. he's got to hide behind his shades. Uh, there you go. Uh, no, I just found these over at the side. Someone didn't want their BCW glasses from the event, so I I just picked them up. Did you not win this time? Did you not get your own? I did. Okay. I found another one. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, what are uh, you? Two and O versus sure. the pros that have come in. I, I am, yeah, uh, with a with a real jank combo dex. And it's funny because the first time, they canceled my combo, but I had enough mana to like do it. Oh no, the first time they didn't do it, but if he did, Jin Davis did stop my combo. I had it back up in the same turn. Oh great! Because I had orders and tumors, but then this time, Todd path my Kiki and my Angel. Oh, you played then, the Just Guy infinite combos. <laughs> yeah, and then I and then. Which got me two lands, so then I could go pester my Kiki. Oh, Jesus. It was perfect. And he, he had a Warship, too. But he didn't play it because he thought I was a control shell, which is what I was going for. Because I just remanded it and only played my blue-white land for the first bit. Until I could just combo him. Great. It was fun. Alright. Well, uh... Sure. Uh, I guess we'll see you all tomorrow with our Modern League. Yeah, the Modern League. It's actually the last round of the Modern League. So. Is it the last week? Yep. Our, okay. Yeah, last week. It'll be good. We'll see. We'll, uh, we will yes, probably we see who the winner is. The winner is uh, Bernie, not, Billy. Bernie and Billy are in the lead, and then there's five people tied for uh, third. I know um, Ben Ball was very up was up there. He was, uh, uh, ben Ball is below everyone who's tied for third. Really? Yeah, he had a 2-2 two -two week. Uh, I thought it was a 2-0-2 -oh -two week. He had a 2-0 -oh and a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, rough. Yeah. Okay. He had unfortunate. I guess is the tiebreaker the uh, week that uh, they get dropped? Uh, yeah, so that might be a tiebreaker. It's not decided yet. It's either that or it's a playoff between the people who are tied for it. Interesting. I, I mean, I wonder how many people end up tied for it. Uh, right now there's five of us at 27. Me, Mark Larson, Mark Anlicker, um, Michael Barrett, and someone else who I forget about. All right. And then Benjamin Balzen, fourth, I guess. Yeah, fourth. The fourth that isn't tied. Yep. But Bernie Wen and Ben Camino, or Billy, Billy Caminos are... Mm -hmm. Right now, the two leaders of the league. Uh, thanks, Pleasant Puffin, for the uh, subscription. Yeah, thank, thank you a lot for the Twitch Prime. Uh, yeah, we really uh, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. Mm -hmm. Look forward to that Wizards list. We're going to try and get up on the website shortly. Our website's under a little bit of construction right now. That's why I haven't been seeing too many posts. But hopefully, we'll be able to squeeze this in. Yeah, uh, I hope And so. if not, we'll post it on Facebook. Okay. All right, so that's it for tonight. And yeah. we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.